what do you make about these tariffs? Do, do, are they a real threat to global growth? It seems like growth is in a sweet spot. Can this be reversed? I think, I think it's really a, a very, very dangerous move. Obviously, we will see exactly where it goes. I understand it's uh, more complex. There is the start of a negotiation with NAFTA countries. But in any case, this move is counterproductive uh, from the economic standpoint. In the opinion of the large majority of, uh, of the economists, in my opinion, certainly against the overall interest of the U.S., against the overall interest of other countries and of the global economy as a whole. So, uh, again, we will see, but it signals something which is obviously bad. Does it have the potential of escalating to a point where it moves central banks off their trajectory of increasing interest rates? No, I don't, I don't think at all that it should uh, move uh, uh, central banks uh, unless there is uh, real facts and figures that would materialize uh, in, in their own uh, you know, uh, observation. But uh, what is absolutely clear is that it puts, at the level of the global economy, an additional element of risks, uh, which we didn't need at all, I have to say. And uh, more or less, the global observers had thought that after the TPP uh, interruption by uh, the U.S. and after some signs that were given here and there, uh, we were in a negotiation episode with NAFTA, and not, nothing dramatic was to be expected. This, you know, violent move on tariffs, it was unexpected, obviously, and is very bad. I'm not surprised that Gary Cohn resigned because clearly it was very difficult for uh, a person like him to accept that, frankly speaking, being the advisor of the president. Tom? Uh, good morning, Mr. Trichet. Tom Keene in New York. Thrilled to have you with us. Let me show a chart, folks, first here for Mr. Trichet that he knows well. And on a first-order condition, this is the huge success of the valuation of the euro in 1998, 1999 at 116. It is amazing the brutal success of the euro, Mr. Trichet. Is the euro fairly valued uh, where it is right now at a 115? At a 120? Well, uh, uh, I, I would not say that uh, you have a fair valuation at any particular point, because as you know, it floats, so it goes up and down. Uh, all taken into account, the dollar, the euro, the yen, the major currency should oscillate <coughs> around a level which would be something that would be considered again their equilibrium rate in the medium run in the medium-long run, depending on their uh, overall situation. So uh, at the present level, we are within, you know, fluctuation margins that do not seem to me to trigger uh, any kind of uh, reaction. As you know, I am very attached to the G7, G5, G4, you name it, to continue to look at the major floating currencies with great care in order to be sure that if the market is going in direction that would not be in line with fundamentals, some kind of signals could be given. But I don't think that it is the case right now. 